I started playing football in eighth grade. We had just moved from Tennessee to Ohio and I had never played football before and I was strongly encouraged by my parents to play that sport. I gave it a shot and each year I got a little bit better and a little bit better and opportunities started opening up for me. So after my senior year, I committed to Indiana University to play on a full athletic scholarship to play football, uh, which was a dream come true for mine because I grew up loving that university. Uh, and it was also great to do for my parents as well, who I know had been saving for me to go to college. I played center and I also played defensive tackle my last two years for IU. It was just an awesome experience playing in front of your community on TV and playing in front of your uh, classmates at the university. I believe that cooking is an art you can be more creative with different ingredients. Cooking brings people together. You can turn something very simple into something very extravagant and just uh, spread joy and happiness. This inspired me to start cooking and become a chef and it's been very re rewarding for me. So January of 2017, I was uh, driving from my future in-law's house back to my home and had a sharp very intense pain in the back of my neck leading up to my head. Uh, my parents lived in Exit Away and I stopped at their house saying that something was not right. I was rushed to urgent care and eventually to a local hospital where an emergency surgery on an aortic dissection was necessary. After the surgery to, to repair my aortic dissection and the subsequent surgeries that I had after that, a large hernia developed in my abdomen. I had a massive hernia, which meant my abdominal muscles were separated. I had no support in my abdominal wall, so I had a skin graft holding all my internal organs in, and you could basically see after I would eat my intestines moving, and you could see where my stomach and kidneys were. I felt like a different person and a different body. I saw one day that I was scheduled to meet with a plastic surgeon, and I thought to myself, why do I need to meet with a plastic surgeon? Uh, was informed during this meeting from this plastic surgeon that I was going to be getting an abdominal wall reconstruction. When people talk about complicated abdominal wall reconstruction or complex abdominal wall reconstruction, what we're really talking about is a hernia repair. So what is a hernia? A hernia is a hole, and most people have it in their abdominal wall or their abdomens. A hole is not the problem. The problem is when something gets stuck in the hole. So if you have a situation where some piece of intestine or some internal organ is stuck or caught in a hole, that's called strangulation, which is exactly like what it sounds like, or incarceration, which means it's stuck and can't get out. In that situation, without any blood flow, it can die, and that is an emergency operation. That is what we're trying to avoid. One of the things that we've learned over time is that it's important to put things back where they belong, shut the door tightly, and reinforce the strength of that repair, oftentimes with what's called mesh or mesh materials. That can take the form of a piece of plastic that comes out of a package that, of course, is sterile, long-lasting, and durable. It also can be a biologic mesh, which, for instance, may be made out of sterile pig skin. Plastic surgeons are very well suited to abdominal wall repair because we do a lot of abdominal operations anyway. If you think about what we do, whether it's cosmetic, let's say in the form of tummy tucks, or reconstructive, let's say in the form of breast reconstruction, we're working with skin, fat, and muscle. That's what makes plastic surgeons very well suited to participate as a member of the team in repair of complicated hernias, oftentimes with general surgeons. The patient benefits from a multidisciplinary approach to abdominal wall reconstruction because the priorities of the general surgeon and the plastic surgeon differ and allow maximum benefit for the patient. The general surgeon is most concerned about protecting the intra-abdominal contents and bringing them safely back into inside the abdominal wall versus the plastic surgeon's primary focus is on repairing the hole in the muscle and bringing the skin and the soft tissue together. The patient benefits by getting the expertise and the priority of each specialist and overall leads to a better patient outcome. Plastic surgeons are in general innovators and people who are always looking to try new things, move the needle and advance care. In terms of abdominal wall reconstruction, Plastic surgeons have made many advances in terms of the technique used, 
uh, in developing less invasive ways uh, to fix and repair the abdominal wall, uh, where to put the mesh, how to get better pain control, and how to decrease uh, the amount of complications afterwards by properly hitting the skin and what we call the soft tissue after the muscle is brought back together. The pain that I experienced was an intense pain for my stomach. Uh, sitting sideways, laying sideways, laying on my stomach obviously was not an option. Uh, and it was one of those things that I completely took for granted of before all this had happened. Cooking was very difficult. I would not be able to work in a busy kitchen in a fast-paced environment with the risk of anything falling on my abdomen, on my skin graft, or damaging any internal organs. And I just could not pursue my career the way and the condition that I was in. Quality of life is what matters. It was it's what matters to surgeons and to patients. Patients want to be able to do things after surgery that they weren't able to do before. How about starting with just getting out of bed in the morning without needing somebody to help you? That's an improved quality of life. So we are now six months out of surgery and I just bowled a 160 uh, two weeks ago. Uh, didn't think that was possible, literally. <laughs> A year ago. I had my abdominal wall reconstructive surgery in early of 2017 and later that year I went from being able to just having troubles getting up and down the steps to being able to walk two miles. Before my surgery I had the troubles just making a grilled cheese sandwich and now I can make four course meals and prepare all different kinds of dishes for my friends and family. So December of 2015, I uh, asked my wife uh, to marry me and we started wedding planning almost instantaneously. During all, all my rehabilitation, um, that was the end goal, uh, was getting to the wedding. You know, being able to stand for an hour during mass and you know, being able to stand for all the people that came into town and most importantly, being able to stand for my wife. You know, being able to dance was one of the coolest feelings I've ever felt in my life. And I feel like I've done a lot of cool things in my life. My perception of plastic surgeons now is that they can get you back to normal life. It's awesome what they're capable of doing.